focus is on the now and obviously the rugby championship. But Coach Rossi yesterday mentioned briefly that, yes, 2027 needs to be looked at as well at the same time in terms of your preparation for you. As one of the senior players within the squad, um, healthy to be able to know that there's so much depth within various positions in that back line that players are coming in and, and, and proving themselves and making it not easy to, to, to get that, that opening berth and, and starting lineup position for yourselves. Yeah, no, it's definitely, it's exciting for, for the Springboks, for South Africa. Um, us as players, you, you, you always know there's always somebody fighting for, for position and it's always healthy to have good competition within the group because it just brings uh, the best out of each and every one of us. And yeah, as you said, like I'm not a player that looks uh, too far ahead because you uh, might stumble along the way. Uh, for me, it's all about uh, doing my best and 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 contribute towards uh, the jersey in the best way that I can. And the most important thing is just enjoy myself. Um, that's why I'm playing this game. And yeah, the coaches and the management all have their plans, obviously, with the with the with the big the with the future lying ahead. But for me personally as a player, and I'm sure each and every player is really focused on, on this first game uh, in Brisbane and I'm not looking too far ahead. Then it comes it just come across to me now that you've only ever played one other test match in Australia. Um what does it mean to you to play a test match there? Um, considering that you've you've been around the world, travelled, played in New Zealand, everywhere else, but Australia seems to be the one country where you haven't not played a lot of rugby. No, uh, you spot on. I made my test debut in Brisbane, uh, and it wasn't a good result. Uh, but yeah, just good to be back in the team and and uh, be back in Brisbane. Um, as as I said earlier, like it's it's a new coaching staff, it's a lot of new players that's coming, which is quite exciting and. Uh, for us, is we just need to stick to what we've done throughout this week, um, execute our plan, and once uh, we, we can do that and the force gets us the, the go forward, um, hopefully there'll be opportunities for us to, to exploit out wide. Uh, but yeah, just uh, great to be back up in Brisbane and just be part of the Springbok team. I'm just curious about your uh, experience um, of Tony. Um, if, if you can just give your thoughts, I mean, could he sort of, I know you, you're a guy that the opposition looks at very closely, but could he, you know, unlock something uh, extra uh, in you? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, like, as Andre said, like uh, Coach Tony comes with a lot of fresh ideas. It's a new voice to the group. Um, and as a player, a lot of experience, but as a coach as well, um, being in Japan, the Japanese boys spoke highly about him. And since I've been part of the group under coach Tony. He's, he's been really unbelievable and he just wants us to to play rugby and, and, and express ourselves. Um, but as a team, obviously there's a plan, uh, but you also have a bit of freedom uh, to bring your 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 one percent to the team to to try and contribute and make a difference. And yeah, uh, really exciting for that. And he he's never a coach that just says you need to do X Y Z. He gives you that that leverage a bit uh, to 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 play what's in front of you. So yeah, definitely exciting. Um, Justin, what what would it mean for you guys to win a test match in Australia and get the rugby champs off to a good start? Um, the box have again winning World Cup has is matters significantly, but the rugby championship and success against Australia in Australia seems to be the one thing that has eluded this particular group of players. Yeah, no, we, we haven't won a rugby championship since 2019, so obviously it will, will be unbelievable to to get another one. Uh, but but for us uh, as a team, is we, we're just looking forward to to this coming Saturday. Um, as I mentioned, we also don't have uh, a good history here up in Australia, but if you look at it, we haven't played them uh, a lot uh, down here. But yeah, we personally, we don't look too far ahead. We're just going to put our focus purely on Saturday and, and, and deliver our best performance if we can. And yeah, it's not a World Cup, it's a rugby championship, and, and that's our, our focus for all. Um, this question is for Cheslin. Um, Joe Schmidt included two very fast speedsters in Corey Bete and Corey Tool, who's just come back from the seven. Uh, you must know Corey Bete well from Japan as well. Um, going into a game like this, do you? study your opposition i know you know the players always say we just look at ourselves but is 
Is that something you do in your mind as you go into a game like this? Study them and make sure you know what to expect from them? Yes, definitely. Um, as a team, you need to, to be prepared as well as you can. And yes, we do analyze uh, the way they play. We do analyze certain players, individuals. And yeah, as I mentioned, they, they got good X factor uh, in, the, in the back three. Uh, guys that can make things happen out of nothing. Um, but for us, um, we, we look forward to that opportunity. And yeah, um, we analyze it, but our main focus is really just on, on ourselves, on our, what we want to uh, achieve out of the game. And yeah, everything happens up front. And whoever wins that, we'll, we'll have a good day on Saturday. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Um, I'll be sending.